Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the SMAD pathway, specifically activin binding to its receptor, initiating SMAD proteins to then have an overall effect on FSH. So here I'm just illustrating that the receptor is in fact on the surface of the cell membrane and not within the cell. These gray diamonds here are going to represent activin or the ligand and then this is the cell membrane. So here in blue is the type 2 receptor component and in purple is the type 1 receptor component. Activin binding to the type 2 receptor induces recruitment of the type 1 receptor into the complex which enables the type 2 receptor to phosphorylate the type 1 receptor. The phosphorylated type 1 receptor activates the serine threonine kinase domain which phosphorylates the receptor regulated SMAD or RSMAD or SMAD2-3. Once phosphorylated, RSMAD recruits another SMAD protein called SMAD4 to form a heteromeric complex within the cytoplasm of the cell. This heteromeric complex then translocates to the nucleus of the cell where it can control gene expression by activating transcription factors. Once activated, these transcription factors are going to promote FSH release in the anterior pituitary.